to talk us through our Porsche track preview, let's ride along and listen to the Scottish brogue of Effort Racing's Ryan Dial. This is Ryan Dial, driver of the number 31 Effort Racing Porsche GT3R, and this is the Porsche track preview at Circuit of the Americas. Like most people, you have some kind of family background. Uh, my dad was a baker, so I didn't have that uh, kind of extra family incentive, but my dad was a car fanatic, and uh, he always seemed to have some fun toys sitting around, you know, whether it was, uh, remember he rebuilt an E-Type Jag back in the day. Boy, Dial got a great launch. So I kind of grew up like any kid, you know, the posters on the wall. Um, my dad, fortunately, was a fairly successful businessman, got me into go-karting. Actually, I started in two wheels. I started on bikes. I fell off. My dad got me a three-wheeler. I fell off and ended up uh, defaulting in a go-kart, which, uh, like every sport, kind of snowballed from there. Went up through the ranks in Europe and uh, found myself in the United States in 2001. Skeen had a good opening sequence, a lap, but now he's got Ryan Dial in that black and red effort Porsche full in his mirrors. This year in 2015, I'm racing the World Endurance Championship uh, for Patron uh, Tequila in a P2 car. So get to go to some really amazing venues around the world, Asia, Europe, Le Mans 24. Um, but I really have a soft spot for Pirelli World Challenge. DL was expecting big things here today, but Stan saw a mid-pack caught him out. Now he looked to the inside. Skeen is up to the task into the break zone. Oh, but he, he runs, runs wide. wide. He runs wide, and that's the problem. If you do get in too deep, suddenly there's no grip out there. And DL is through. It's, it's something that I've pushed hard to get into since probably 2010-11. Um, I, I love the idea of uh, sprint racing. I think every driver from an endurance racing background loves the idea of going back into sprint racing and having that little bit of a selfish uh, attitude. Ooh, oh, by the Barbara! Dial's got a run on him. Beretta moves to the right side, tries to defend. Ryan Dial on the outside. There's a battle for the lead. Side by each, all the way down, heading into turn nine. Beretta's got the inside. Dial gonna try the over-under, he gets there. Now, can he stay put? This is huge! I uh, love the standing starts, and I think the competition's great. It's great to see so many manufacturers here. Look at Dial's launch here, right around the outside of Skeen, actually putting those right sides into the grass. And it's, it's good fun racing, 45, 50 minute races of just qualifying laps the whole time. And our Optima Battery's best start award right there, the number 31, Ryan Dial in the Effort Racing Porsche, up three spots from where he qualified in that opening lap. Oh, my current car, the race car, is a Porsche 911 GT3R. Uh, this car is actually a few years old now. Uh, the next iteration of this car will come in 2016, so uh, we, uh, we like to think she's like a, a fine wine. She's only getting better with age. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a very cool car, six-speed you know, paddle shift gearbox. Uh, approximately 500 horsepower, uh, a lot of downforce, great Pirelli tires, ABS, traction control. Boy, Ryan Dial, he is on it. GT3s are, are basically platformed on the best sports cars in the world that you can buy. This is obviously based off of Porsche's 911 GT3. This is the R, the racing edition, uh, much like most of the cars in Pirelli World Challenge. Well, I'm, I'm fortunate. I don't get many weekends off between uh, multiple championships. I think it's uh, 26 races or something this year. Um, but I'm not racing, I like to be at home. Um, I don't do much. I like to uh, look after the house and take care of the dog. And actually we have a, a horse as well, so uh, we, we like to keep on top of that. Um, I'm a family man, I like being at home with my wife. And uh, you know, I, I definitely, when I get away from the track, I try not to think about racing and just enjoy having a good life. Dial, look at that right solid third in that Porsche from effort. Ah, fans are everything in racing. No, we wouldn't be doing this. It's it's an entertainment sport. I think every driver needs to understand that. Uh, it, you know, much like wrestling, you know, we're here to entertain. Uh, we're also putting on a good show, a safe show. Um, but no, it's great. I mean, it, one of the things that really struck me was, I think, how passionate the fans were in Pirelli World Challenge. Uh, a lot of that, I think, goes down to the format of having GT3 cars. You get to see cars that you see in the dealerships. Here we got McLaren or Porsche or Ferrari. You got Bentleys, uh, so for us, a big part of that is interacting with the fans and explaining the difference between the race cars and the street cars. Look at this, Dial now coming after his new GT compatriot in that effort, Porsche, Mike Lewis, and Dial getting the jump on Mike, moves up. My biggest thing goes to, uh, to Effort Racing, uh, Chuck and Melissa for uh, bringing me back for a second year, a full year this year. Uh, Porsche obviously giving us great cars, and uh, Pirelli for great tires.